this video today is a request from my friend Demo Real System on Discord. I am going to be reacting to the opening videos of games I have never played before, and they requested the Luminous Arc series, which is apparently a game they're like really hyper focused on at the moment. I hope this is super fun and cheers you up, buddy. Here we go! Ooh. Fluffy bunny ears? Oh, ponytails. Oh, I like that out. I like that hat. Bird? Bird. Bird. Ooh, I like that art style. Who is this fluffy hat, hairy ears person? Birds in, birds in the sky? Birds in the sky. Birds in the sky. Hand? <laughs> Look at that pose! It's like, oh, magical girl! Oh, I love this character's design! Oh, I love them! There's so many things going on. Who are all these new people? I love them all! They're so cool! Bird on head! Bird hat head! Oh, cute! They remind me kind of a crow from Soul Eater, even though they have no design traits in common. Who is this person who has, like, a more boring anime style face? We're, we're in a church now, we're in a church now. Is that, is that flame from the 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 I, 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 we're, we're, we are on a cliff, Mufasa is in the back, there's <laughs> a lift of the booby lady and I'm like, this, this is our new king. I have no idea what happened. Is it okay if I like rewatch that? I have no, I'm just, is it okay if I like, why did I pause on the booby lady? No! It's okay if I like replay that, that was all so fast. I can definitely see why you picked this series for me to do. There's so much stuff happening all at once, so oh my gosh. That's, that's like a good sign of a good intro movie. It makes you really want to replay it. So in that sense, it wins at being a great AMV. But it makes you want to replay it because you have no idea what is happening. Okay, first thing I've got to say, I really like this song. It's really like catchy and awesome. <laughs> Now, we got, we start, we are in a forest with a bunny ears hair. That hair so reminds me of Pratty from Sword, Swordcraft Story. Like that weird, weird, like, random style of like, let's have hair that looks like ponytails, but it's not. It's actually just, I'm wearing a hat and my hair sticks out of it and it just happens to be like inbuilt ponytails. Do they actually make hats like that? Is that a thing that exists in real life? It's like a, like, uh, I don't need to use scrunchies to have this ponytail hat. My hat is the scrunchies. My hat is also some sort of like segment of an orange. And a burb. Like, why, why have you got a cornucopia? Is that your bit? Is that actually like a corner cup? Does, does, does this character like pick, pick up a staff and like shoot things out the end or something? Or is it like a blunderbuss and it's actually like a, a really long gun? Or is it just a staff which looks like it would have stuff to shoot out the end of it? And what, why does staff have a ponytail too? Everyone ponytails! Everyone ponytails! Bird just eats at the camera! Oh my gosh! This is it! Look at the eye here! It's like I've just woken up! I was say, this pose, I love this pose! Like, I have no idea if this is a character's actual personality, but that, that pose looks like they're trying to do like a Sailor Moon impression. <laughs> like, like, that combined with like their outfit being like very like, the, the most, the most like normal hero outfit out of anyone in this, in this entire thing. It just makes me this character like their thing is like they look the most normal, they're actually the most sane and silly. That would be a really cool concept for a character. Also, I have no idea what gender anybody is except the, the, big boob witch lady and that is i'm saying that as a compliment as a non-binary person i'm like fuck yeah everyone here is like the exact entity of outfits i would want to wear this is my favorite this kind of whoever they are the one with the, the big old comfy cloak that big old comfy cloak reminds me of like the comfy the, the comfy cloak that the male option has in, in the mage class in fire and three houses and it's so annoying that only the boys get a comfy cloak and the girls get a skinny cloak and it's like, 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 like bagginess of cloak does not indicate gender, that's weird. This character, I like them! And also, they also got hat pointed. But like, what is this random, like, five seconds of, like, five seconds of Pikmin? Five seconds of Pikmin. 
I've got to say about this generic looking man on the windowsill, it's like, he's like a different art style to everyone else. Everyone else has like this, this, like, this very like big shoujo eyeballs, like like looks really interesting art style. Reminds me of like a, a, the manga plus anima. I really, really like that manga. That was like, like a big thing. Like a, it's, it's criminally underrated, that is. Really definitely recommend playing it. The art style of this, like both the outfits and the faces really reminds me of that. And like that guy looks like he'd be the Senri of the group, like Senri like the only old character in the group in, in that manga. Well, like, he was also, like, the most cinnamon roll of the group, and I love him a lot, so hopefully this guy, despite his boring design, will end up being like that and having an interesting personality to make up for. Senri does not have a boring design because he's, like, he's got the most, like, like, old person face, but he's also got a really cool design. I, I'm blabbering on too much about different series. Who is this person in the church? Does this world have, like, like, reverse Catholicism, where, like, instead of a cross, it's just a one line with, with a, with a cross on, on it? <laughs> Everyone has ponytails on their hands. Why? Why is there this one five minute of like elemental Pikmin? Who are these characters? I'm more interested in these characters than any of the other characters so far. Are these like? Is it gonna be like? Oh, what's it called? It's like there was some sort of series where they had like like Jin. Some some game I hadn't played where they had like Jin with like a little elemental characters. Like it was like like similar to like Materia in Final Fantasy VII, but instead of equipping like like items you would like equip like little magical familiar characters which were like they represent the different elements they would give you powers that's what this this design is giving me the vibes of it's like these would be some sort of like collectible friends that you would like equip to have powers because they're all very elemental themed and the design is clearly like friend if these guys end up being like an enemy i'm gonna be so sad also i love how the fire one has a little sweat drop that they can't even like withstand their own power that's like a really sad i want to give it a hug i want to give it like a, a cooling ice pack on its forehead <laughs> I, I love how the, the wind one is just, just one of those propeller hats and like stereotypical little children wearing cartoons. Edit in that Spongebob clip. <laughs> uh, I can explain. I did a funny pose! I, I didn't even notice that going for the first time. I, I, I keep pause on and they do like a dramatic pose at the very last instant. Yay! It's the friends! It's the pals! It's the lads! Me and the lads up at 3am hunting for beans! <laughs> Maybe they're the magical girls! Now who is this person? Who, whoever- who, like, I need to pause on these things, they go by so fast, these two people here who don't appear anywhere else in the entire thing. Which makes me feel that maybe they're not party members, because like everyone else has appeared in multiple scenes. Like, this this person, who, whoever they are, they, their design reminds me of, um, 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 Arno from Swordcraft Story 2. I keep thinking of Swordcraft Story, I don't know why the art style just really gives me Swordcraft Story vibes. And again, that's me as compliment, because I fucking love that game. And it's the general style of how they tend to draw, like, um, the, the beast people, from what was it, like, it was windier or something, like, I was like, uh, like, all the, all the, like, animal beast people summons in that series they all seem to be wind element and like uh, like tend to have like green hair and stuff like that and also tend to have, have like little tattoo markings on their face like that oh no i don't think does have those but i think there's another character in the same game who's like a werewolf and does have uh, cool face markings and they're all wind element i have no idea what wind has to do with being a werewolf but there you go and this character i really like that color scheme like that calming minty hair and, those, and with the brown eyes it goes really well and, like they have like, like red highlights on the on their outfit and stuff it goes Really well. I don't know why those colors go together good, but they do. Like, since they're fast, okay. Oh, they're a, they're, a, they're a girl, they have big boobies. Is this another fan series person? I don't know. Their hand is a tree. Her hand is a, the, her hand is a tree, the scarf is leaves. The, they're not a werewolf, we don't have werewolf ears. I why did I think they were? I'm, I'm just, I'm just my brain is sword graph storying on it. Okay, non werewolf, not a wind person, but true. Actually, that makes me wonder why is wind the green element in that game instead of grass? Anyway. They, they, they're fanosing with an entire tree and, and like, I, I support, I support you. Fa in the Grand League of Fan Service Ladies, you are a really cool design for Fan Service Lady. Thumbs up to you. Thumbs up to you. Big giant tree thumbs up. Kick it. Now, who's this, this person, this person who's like on a magic carpet and like, like, they're, they're like, like how, do, how do you manage to get a turban in the shape of cat ears? That must be so difficult to put on every morning. Like, oh my gosh. Unless it's like, they have like a hat shaped like cat ears and underneath it's like a framework and then they build the bandages around it. That would be an interesting way of doing it. Or like, maybe they have like a paper mache shape of their own head. Like, they stick their whole, whole head into a plaster cast and then they pull it out and then they put the bandages around that. 
but I really like my design. I really like the appeal. I don't know why. Like having like a shirtless shirt and then really baggy trousers. I don't know why, but it looks really cool. I guess it's like I don't have sleeves, so my trousers have become double the power. Like I put my sleeves into my trousers and now have double trousers. Their design reminds me slightly of a um, Malakemia, which is another game I really, really, really like. Shove that on screen. And I don't know why, but this design of like, like uh, pants with like loads of straps and like mechanical thingies and like there was someone in the game who had a sword which was just like like it was called a sword but it looked like a giant pizza cut and I'm like how do you even cut anyone with that? And, and the, the pattern on like the belt here kind of reminds me of that. I don't know why, but this character really looks like my favourite character right now. I hope they are a party member. I hope it's gonna be like one of those. Because sometimes you get that in openings where, like, for some reason, like some of the party members get totally shafted. Like in the Persona Five opening, you only get like five seconds of like uh, Haru, uh, Makoto, and uh, I've totally forgot. I'm totally blanking on the name. Sojiro's daughter, that one. Cafe Dad's daughter, that one. The, the cool hacker. Do you like one of my favorite characters? Why am I blanking on her name? I'm a bit hyperactive right now. Sorry. I chugged like an entire thing of Dr Pepper before I did this because I want to give the best commentary ever, and I am instead giving the worst commentary ever. I'm sorry. Continue. Yeet. Whoa. The first time I saw that, I thought it was a hair of the green-haired lady from the first thing. I love the character, the design of this character. It reminds me of someone from um, uh, Bre Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire. There's like there's an NPC lady who has a big floofy hat and she has a, a, has a, a puppet shaped like a frog. And this character reminds me of that. But like, I really like, I love like Jester characters. Jester fashion is like, again, again big non-binary vibes. I don't know why Jester fashion is like something I'd really want to wear as a non-binary. I don't know why. Because like traditionally being a Jester is a very male job. I don't get it. But anyway, I love the color. This looks so good with like the light purple and then like the the bold red pink. It's like it's like it's a good co it's a contrast and a compliment. It's like a compliment 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 in terms of colors, but a contrast in terms of like the tone of them. Like one of them is very pastel, one of them is not pastel at all. I, I love the little Jester shoes have little flowers on them. Like that's why there's two characters so far which have been like like plant element. Okay, uh, maybe those two are friends, that would be really cool. Or maybe it's just it is a party element. Maybe one of them's a party member and one of them's a villain? I don't know. And then they'd be like, like rivals in plantness. I just I really love the little the little frog fingers hugging them. It's cute. I love. Uh, fighting with a giant leaf is like like so ridiculously cute the door. I love the silly, the silly vibes, the silly vibes, the wholesome silly vibes and like bleeding into my heart and soul and making me feel all warm and huggly inside. I hope this character is not a villain. I hope if they are a villain they're one I'm gonna redeem in my head. Uh, nothing to say about Boob Lady. Oh my god, I have nothing to say about Boob Lady, but about, like, it looks like she'd be getting paper cuts all over her boobs. Oh, but the thingy does shoot a thingy on it. It's like a staff that shoots a diamond thingy. Oh, this person is a girl or something. I do not see the boob. No boob, no boob. Is that the same boob lady or that multiple boob lady? Everyone hates the boob lady. I, I agree, and I also hate the boob lady. I really like these designs of these monsters, whatever they are. I hope they're not working with a booby lady because those would be so cute as like a friend monster or something. I can imagine that being like like some sort of like familiar support ca character on the on the, on the people's side. And like there's two of them, and there's like oh, one of them. Like you could ride on its back. You could ride across lush fields together with this with this adorable monster. And I love how like they just have like the vibe of like a rhino and like a wolf, but they're not either of them, there is, they're like, they have nothing to do with either of them. They're like kind of like, a, they have like kind of ram ears. I can't tell if those are ears or horns, but either way, really adorable. I love the fluff. And they remind me of um, uh, Merkava from Undernight Inbirth, which is also a game I have not played, which has also been recommended to me by the exact same friend who recommended this video to me. So vibes, our vibes, our minds. That would be a really cool idea. It's like, these are the pets of Merkava from that game, or maybe like the baby form of Merkava from that game. He's like, I am a dad now, and these are my, my adorable children. I'm gonna rescue him from the booby lady and we go live away in a, in, a, in a magical cottage on the moon. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, let's continue. Eat. And now we all peacefully stare into nowhere. And I'm assuming this is where a title screen would pop up, probably. 